Oh, this is fun to get good. I'm trying to tell you. Cheers. Cheers. It's fun to get good. Cheers. Shout out to them beautiful patrons around the world, my brothers and sisters. This is fun to get good. Now, y'all know we just had that huge Gen Z influencer with Trump, Aiden Ross. You know, and boy, I'm telling y'all, this thing is going to continue to get more spicy and more sweeter. But there's another huge Gen Z influencer. Some of y'all might have seen him. Some of y'all might not. You might not know him. You might have. You might have seen clips on your Facebook pages, your Instagram, your, your, your X pages. He's everywhere. He's a huge uh, Gen Z influencer as well. Um, and again, y'all know how I feel about the race card, but, you know, he's a he's black, a black streamer. Um, very entertaining. I love his streams, you know. Um, he's actually even even big on this YouTube platform as well. He's, he was a YouTuber. But now he's um gotten way more popular streaming, and um but they said uh, that Kamala Harris uh team so they tried to get him on board. Yeah, and some with the Secret Service. But uh, as I read some of these comments, it's, it's all over the place. And again, I want to jump in this and react to it as well with you guys. I don't want to just talk um, like I'm just fully educated and did my full blown research on the thing. So that's going to be a part of this reaction. But I'm reading the comments. The Secret Service had time to call influencers, but couldn't secure a roof in close call at the Trump rally. And Kamala thinks 18 to 24-year-olds 24 year are stupid. Oh, boy. Ah, funny how people almost beg, to do, beg Trump to do a live stream, but then Kamala has to beg the people to do a live stream with her. Oh, man. If somebody called me five times after saying no the first time, I wouldn't call. I would call that harassment. So they, they said they, he, he got called multiple times. And we're going to show the clips and show everything. And we're going to bring Officer Tatum on. Shout out to my brother Brandon, man. And um, a lot of y'all have been calling me his dad or, or I'm, I'm his son lately or been calling me his, I'm his brother. You know, uh, I'm his little brother. But he said out to Officer Tatum, man. Uh, this is going to be a very, very um, interesting video we're going to get into. We're going to have fun with this one, though, man. But, um... As you can see, lately she's gotten exposed by black celebrities and, and, and artists um, she's reached out to to come uh, that, that she was uh, they said she was w uh, willing to, to pay them to come perform at the rally or uh, campaign for her. And she's been getting getting denied left and right. But this is getting real interesting, man. But like I told y'all, it's coming. Trying to pay off celebrities and I won't be surprised if the narrative switch. And uh, we get a t Taylor Swift comes out and, and there's a, tw a Taylor Swift uh, free concert, you know. And a bunch of lies and pandering is going to go on, you know, and that's just with the Democrat Party, you know. it. But hey, you see how these last three and a half, four years have been, you know. Lies, excuses. False promises. And look where we're at now. We're more weaker than ever. We're a complete laughing stock. It's gonna come, I'm telling you, it's going to come down to common sense. But as you know, common sense is far, far gone in this country. You know, millions of people declining, struggling right now. But they don't care. We want to defeat Trump. We want to beat Trump. He's a dictator. He's a racist. He's this. He's Hitler. He's that. He's that. All the hatred they spew out on a man that could be enjoying the rest of his life on his own island, you know. But hey, he's such a bad, terrible guy. He's hurt people's feelings. So it's emotions over facts. Ah, he's a threat to democracy. You just can't make this stuff up, y'all. So let's go and get into it. I'm from the, I'm learning as we go. But again, I've been 
I've watched um, Casanet streams. Love, love the fella. Um, love when he brings a, a, on other celebrities and make it more funnier. Um, what we've seen in the past, and um, he, he he makes everybody laugh, and it's it's he, the guy's a phenomenal man. I love him. Love the brother. But uh, let's go and get into it, man, because he declined uh, Kamala Harris. So this is fun to get real good. Let's jump in. And on top of that, I got the secret service calling me Bob Tom. Kai, hit me and tell me who sent you that text, man. Because whoever on Vice President Kamala Harris' team hit Kai Sinat, uh to do a live stream, they need to be fired. Kamala's in trouble. Just wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, every chance I get to make a video to put these things in context, I'm going to do so. We still have to fight. We still have to run up the score. I don't give a F how much we're winning. We need to win bigger and bigger and bigger. We can't get complacent, y'all. And y'all know y'all see all these polls, this and that. Trump's winning this and that, this and that. But again, we are not against a candidate. We are against a machine. It's like, and it's true. You know, at first I was like, man, why would people say that? And then people bring up what happened in 2020. They bring up, oh, Biden got, he, he got more, he, he, he got more votes than Barack Obama. But yeah, 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 you know? And then we talk about, you know, the mail-in ballot, the, the COVID and this and that. Yeah, yeah. People went to sleep and woke up the next morning and said, what happened? <laughs> but we can't get complacent, y'all. And it's real. You know, I know people don't like to hear it sometimes, but it's, it's, it's the truth, you know? And we encourage everybody to go out and vote, man. Too big to rig too big to rig man you're and bigger and give them no chance come november that they will have an opportunity to win but this is a pretty big development when you get a guy of his stature some of you guys that are not in the younger generation probably don't know who this is his name is kai he's probably the biggest black influencer on social media in the world yeah i think maybe if he's not number one he's probably number three top five at least I think he is number one. I believe he is number one. And he he just he, he won what I think in the awards ceremony, streamer uh number one new streamer of the year or something like that. I know he won one of the biggest uh awards they, they just had. But um I think he is one of the is number one or or not uh, number two, because there is a couple other big, 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 big time uh, uh you know streamers. But again, very huge in the uh the Gen Z section. And Listen to what he had to say about Kamala Harris's approach to trying to leverage other influences to come out and make him become political. Now, Donald Trump is, in my opinion, because he had an interview with Aiden, which I'm going to show here in a minute, did a good job on capitalizing on this. Whoever tried to reach out to him can't read the room whatsoever and ended up causing more damage than good. Wrote a clip. We're supposed to be in a pet house in New York. And on top of that, I got the secret service calling me Bob Tom. I don't know nothing about politics. I don't know nothing. I don't know shit. He don't know nothing about politics. Thing, what the f am I supposed to talk about on stream about politics, bro? I don't know my ass. I'll fix this. Why is he in the trailer? Oh, what's going on, dude? Now, let me go ahead and say something. All in a matter of week, I got the Secret Service. I got, hey, I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't give a f Okay? Listen, I had a bad f that I've been trying to get on for like the last three years, the last two years that I haven't, I haven't spoke to in like a year. I haven't spoke to this girl in so long who gonna have the audacity to text me. We need you a part of the campaign. At first I was talking, I was thinking she was talking about like a game, a video game, like a, a modern warfare game um, or some <laughs> Or if not that, a clothing brand. I'm like, what campaign? 
Shorty going to say. Ah! We're not going to get into details. <laughs> Yo, this is why I can't do shit. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm going to keep it a second with y'all boys, okay? What the fuck is Kasanak going to talk about? we politics, my <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. Hey, look. Mark my words. I'm going to say it. Right now, if this some way, somehow, something was to go into where I do the stream of politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say, why did you guys call me? <laughs> hey, you know, I don't know. I've never did any, I've never did anything with politics. And I got, and these blogs are like trying to say, yo, you got to do this shit, God. <laughs> And it's all the top blogs, but I'm like, since when did you care about what Kasanet had to talk about for politics? You feel me? Chat. It's not even it's not even a particular person. It's all sides of the field. All sides of the field. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even been in tune. Shout out to Aiden. I know Aiden did some shit, but that's but Aiden's more into that, you know? Like that's Aiden's more into that. Chat, when I tell you, I don't know what's going on. Y'all see, he just gave a shout out to Aiden Ross, who just did a huge internet breaking stream with President Trump. So, hey. I don't, like, I don't know. You feel me? I, I only going to do it if it makes sense. And I don't know it. And I, I apologize to the people that want to see it so bad. But that's just not my lane. You know? I can't force something that's not me. You feel me? I, I can't. And I just can't sit there and force something that's just not me. And that's and that's okay. You feel me? And that's okay. Now here's here is uh Oh boy. Charlemagne the Fraud. Uh, coming out and giving his take on what Kai said. My interpretation of what Kai said is he tried not to disclose who reached out to him, but I bet it was the, the Kamala Harris campaign reached out to him. They're trying to get all these black influencers to somehow yep. endorse her, even ones who never talk about politics to endorse her. He tried to say it's kind of in the middle, but I think he was really talking about Kamala. That's why Charlemagne responded like he did. But they, they, they I wish he would be informed. I wish he would listen to somebody like me or somebody else to have common sense and be informed and talk about politics and keep it 100. Wrote a clip. Kai, hit me and tell me who sent you that text, man. Because whoever on Vice President Kamala Harris' team hit Kai Sinat, uh to do a live stream, they need to be fired. Okay, stop letting social media run her campaign. You saw Trump go on <laughs> Aiden Ross, Ross, and you saw the attention that garnered. You saw the headlines that got. You saw social media start saying the vice president needs to go on Kai tonight, and you ran to go make that happen. Not even stopping to think, is this organic? Does Kai not even care about politics? You know why? Does the Trump, he even know the, anything the, about it? it, it have it, questions? It, you he might be supportive of Trump. We don't know. No. Got a whole show. He's not supportive of Trump. Cut it out. You don't know now, who he supports. I, I know he don't support no Trump. You, you know why the Trump Aiden Ross scream worked? Because Aiden Ross had real interest in Donald Trump. And I do believe politicians should absolutely meet people where they are, but it still has to make sense. Let it be something organic. There is a lot of places the VP can go uh, to get in front of a younger audience. There are influences, Kai age, you know, um, it, 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 I, I, I don't know. Kai, I'm all, like I said, I'm all from meeting people where they are, but it also has to make sense. But Kai Sinat has never even, I've never heard Kai Sinat mention politics one time. Not even no. talk about it at all. No. So we don't know what it, what his interests are, what he cares about, what he likes. Not at all. We know he's no. the one. He's the biggest streamer. But besides that, he's never mentioned if, politics. If the vice president was to run the Kai now, she would just look like she's copying Trump. Mm -hmm. you, you know who I want to see the vice president sit with? I want to see the vice president sit with the 85 South show. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great organic kickback. I believe Carlos Chico in D.C. would have a real honest conversation with her. And we would love that for the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Bye. You wouldn't. Could that be such a lame conversation and people to realize how trash she is and y'all would have to be voting for Republicans? By the way, uh, Kamala should tap in with uh, oh. somebody like that kid. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Harry Sisson. 
Harry Sisson, I think his name is. He's all he's all in on the Harris Walls campaign. I love Kai, but sending the VP to Kai just because Trump went to Aiden Ross, that's I'll pull up here at the breakfast. No, club. send yes. the VP in her silk press someplace that doesn't look like she's copying Trump. All right, this is a little bit of the Aiden Ross. They brought it up a couple times. If you missed it, Aiden Ross is another major streamer. All right, but this is this is what they were saying. This is what Kamala Harris was trying to reproduce with that young black kid. I got to give that kid Aiden some props, man. He a young guy, and you got to have some gall to like set that up and be confident enough to do a live stream, not a recording, a live stream with Donald Trump. It looked like they had Mar-a-Lago. Y'all seen my video? My video went semi-viral. Uh, Y'all showed so much love on it, um, and you know, salute to Aiden, bro. That, and again, that this stream broke the internet. It broke everywhere, you know, and people are still talking about it. <laughs> but let's click through it because I know we got got into a little a little heat with it. He's being treated very unfairly. Very unfair. So he's got to be treated fairly. Please. <laughs> Donald Trump don't know who Young Thug is. <laughs> <laughs> I, now, I'm not completely saying he don't, because he could, right? Donald Trump used to be in the game. But Young Thug is way past the rapper time that Donald Trump was involved in, right? I mean, Donald Trump, I think he probably, oh, who was under his own pit back in the day? He had a whole bunch of rappers under his armpit. Young Thug is a newer rapper. And I I personally think Young Thug should go to prison for the rest of his life for all that stuff that they're doing. These kids, these, these dudes are responsible in part of killing I don't know how many black people in this racketeering thing. They thugging, they gangsters. They're the reason why the inner city community is so dangerous because these people like Young Thug in them. Now, innocent until proven guilty. I don't know how far they're along in their little Rico case. But these dudes be rapping about gangster stuff, man. And either they fake or they really doing that gangster stuff. And if they doing the gangsters they talking about, then they're a detriment to society. Damn, okay. Thank you, Sean. Let's hop out the call. Trump is going to keep TikTok going. What's his name? Bryson DeChambeau who won the uh, the U.S. Open. I, I don't know why I blanked on that. I just said it a minute ago. He won the U.S. Open. I would argue that the, when you win the U.S. Open, you're considered at least the top golfer in the world. I uh, win well, in the U.S. For, for, for sure. And I think the U.S. golfers are better than anybody else. So if you're the best in the U.S., you're the best in the world, in my opinion. But, you know, he's at least one of the top golfers in the U.S. He got paid a lot of money when he won. Him and Donald Trump had uh, a little... I don't know, uh, sit down, golf turn, golf little experience. And it went well. He was genuine. Donald Trump is a genuine dude. He genuinely isn't shell-shocked around celebrity people because he's been doing this his whole life. And he is, you know, the celebrity celebrity. Until he y'all seen it. I showed y'all, man. Trump, man, I, I showed all of them. And then they all everybody used to love him. Everywhere you look. People that 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 then that then flipped the whole script. And now they call him racist, they call him this, they call him a dictator, they call him that. Threat to democracy. All the people that are saying this used to love him. They say, oh, Trump. Oh, Donald. He was on, a, on all kind of shows, movies, every, everywhere. Donald Trump was everywhere. He's in like, what, almost a thousand rap songs. He's in like over a thousand some songs. It's truth, man. He ran for office as a Republican, then they hated him. If he was a Democrat. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he ran as a Republican, as soon as he came down on that elevator, everything changed. Simple as that. Democrat. I almost wish Donald Trump would have ran as a Democrat. But he couldn't win against Hillary as a Democrat because they had it all rigged up. But if Donald Trump would have ran as a Democrat with his policies, he would have changed the Democrat Party and... Donald Trump would have won big time. I'd not have voted for him as a Democrat if he was had the policies that he have now. I just think it'd have been so hard to come against him as a Democrat, right? It's because it, if you claim to be a Democrat, somehow you for the people, you know, and that's how it, 
ignorant, low information voters vote. But anyway, yep, facts. Shout out to Jaden Ross. He said something stupid on live stream the other day. Somebody told me, but shout out to him having the confidence to bring Donald Trump to the young folks. I think people are seeing Donald Trump as a real person when he got shot doing these interviews. Come out of them was just fake, man. It ain't gonna last long. I see y'all the next one though. Comment. In the you shut out the my brother Brandon, man. You shut the officer Tatum, but um, it's the truth, man. Like I tell y'all, a lot of people, they run away from it. They don't want to hear it. They don't care for it. And it's going to get even sweeter and spicy, man. And I hope we can get these three debates um, with Trump just agreed on. As y'all see right now, Trump is breaking uh, breaking the news right now at uh, the Mar-a-Lago interview. Um, and it's trending right now. So, you know, and again, it's been what, almost... Two weeks, we still haven't got a, a interview, a sit down with Kamala, hasn't heard anything, you know, not not focusing on the failed policies and what the main issues we have now, you know, you see markets collapsing, crashing. I mean, you just, you see what's going on. We are in big trouble, man. Big, big trouble. But I love you guys. Wishing the best on all you guys. Let me know what y'all think of all this in the comment section down below. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all. Yay!